Hi, Trudy Bearman here, and welcome to week two of the 12 week challenge to become debt free and to have debt free wealth. Now, this week we're looking at debt is it a tool or a snare? Now, right now, this is kind of a mindset chat okay it's what what where is your head at because you see one of the one of the important things is as we work to help you delete that debt the last thing we want is your credit to be all nice and cleared up and you jump right back into it so a huge part of this now that we've determined where your debt originated and where the bleeds are in your system now we are going to try and control that and move forward in that direction. So that's what today's uh, video is all about, okay? Now, I know sometimes when you're strapped for money, any offer of money coming your way may seem like an answer to prayer. Well, listen, you're praying maybe to the wrong God or you're saying the wrong kind of prayer to the God that you serve, okay? Because here's what, I'm a Christian. I don't know what your what your faith book says, but let me tell you what mine says. Mine says in Romans 13 verse eight, to owe no man any debt but love. Now there's several other passages on the matter of debt and it basically says to run very, very far away from it. And if you can't, the very bed you sleep on will be snatched from you. So uh, this is not a Bible study. I don't know what faith you're coming from. I can only tell you that that's mine. And regardless of what your faith is, I think we can all appreciate that debt does not necessarily lead to anything positive. Not that it can't, but it doesn't necessarily lead there. So once we have managed to help you clear this debt up, once you have managed to help yourself clear your debt up, and not to accumulate anymore as you go along. Now, one of the biggest areas that I have seen debt cropping up in a lot of people's lives, and they're praising the Lord for it, is from student loans. Now, in all honesty, I can see what happened. A lot of people sometimes are out of work, or they don't have enough work coming, or there's no money coming in through the door. So going back to school seemed like a sensible thing to do, right? It seemed honorable, it seemed to create hope for the future, and most of all, going back to school opened up the doors for funds to be available because student loans are one of those things that it doesn't matter what your credit score is, it doesn't even matter if you had a bankruptcy in the past, as long as you're in school, the federal situation is going to subsidize and it's going to make money available to you. And this is where a lot of you are probably in trouble in the first place because money that you've got, you know, some people literally lived on this money. While they went to school, they borrowed the money to pay their apartment's rent. They paid their car payment. They bought their food. They bought their books. They bought some clothes. And the next thing you know is you're racking up hundreds of thousands of dollars through student debt. Well, if that's your situation, I I really am sorry for you because guess what? That is one debt that of all the strategies we've got in here, bankruptcy will not be an option for you, at least not for that portion of your problem. So guys, really, um, <laughs> if a new credit card offer comes in the mail, it's, it, it's, it, is it a tool or a snare? You tell me, is it a tool? or a snare. A tool is something that's going to help you accomplish something. A snare is also another word for a trap. So how do you see debt? The current debt you have and the new debt you have. So if you have a credit card right now, it's a revolving loan and you've managed to pay, it's a thousand dollar card, let's say, and you've managed to pay down 500 of it. So you don't have 500 available. Is that a tool or a snare for you right now? Is that going to be, you know, a trap and you go back and use up that $500 and you're right back where you started? Or is this going to be a situation where you begin to feel accomplished and raise up back your credit score? Because, you know, one of the biggest ways of raising your credit score is your debt ratio. So your loan to debt ratio. So if you have a thousand dollar card and you only have a hundred dollars used up on it, you've got nine hundred dollars available, that is good. But if you have a thousand dollar card and you're right up there to a thousand dollars or maybe over the limit, that's not good. So tool or snare. You need to decide because it's very possible that tomorrow you'll go to your mailbox and there will be a card in the mail. 
it could be tomorrow right that your very next phone call is somebody calling from wherever offering you a loan it could be that you're on the computer and a pop-up comes up and says you know you know maybe montel sends you one of those things that says guaranteed payday loan whatever whatever the next thing you know is you're right back where you started if you don't get this thing squared away in your head as to what is debt you might find yourself right back where you started no the conversation that comes up a lot is good debt versus bad debt. For me, there's no such thing as good debt. There's no such thing as good debt. There may be necessary debt. And even then, guys, before you agree to that debt, if there's no other way around it, then I still want you to look at that debt from an angle of how can you possibly minimize it, avoid it altogether? Could you borrow that item? Could you rent that item? Could you get an alternative version that's more affordable? You know, there are other ways of coming at acquiring something rather than swiping that card every single time. And when you do swipe the card, seek to pay that amount off as soon as possible. So how you view debt how you however you viewed it in the past got to where you are right now moving forward i need you to start to see debt as a trap it is a trap it is a trap that takes you away from debt free wealth it is going to suck you back into that vortex of no return and you will be once again enslaved and if something comes up and God forbid you cannot make that payment, the hound dogs will be right back after you. So whatever mindset you had up to this point, no matter what is in front of you, no matter how urgent, debt, I want you to see debt as an absolute snare, a trap. I'm not saying you won't ultimately use debt to acquire something because there is necessary debt sometimes. But you really need to go very carefully into that debt with much thought, with much research. Is it the right thing at the right time, at the right price? Could you wait? Could you save up towards it? You know, there's, you know, can you, can you borrow it from grandma instead of buying one for yourself? I mean, there are different ways to approach the accumulation of stuff or services or whatever maybe you can trade out something trade out your time to get this service whatever guys I mean brainstorm where within the Facebook group I'm gonna throw this out there to you if there's something coming up that you think you're going to need throw that out there to the group there may be somebody who has a, a resource for you a better price um, Maybe, you know, I don't know. Maybe you need to go sell some things on eBay first before you, I don't know. But I just want for right now that from here forward that you agree, that you mentally begin to think and drill into your brain. And anytime you get offered a, a, a loan or an opportunity for a new debt or to use back up debt you've paid off it, I want you to see, just, just pretend that you are that little mouse and that, the, the, the teeth of the trap are right there ready to grab you once again, okay? I want you to think, I need you to, to, to come up with a horrible mental picture. What is it that is, is so, obvious, so horribly fearful to you and attach debt to that image? Because from here on, I really want you to see debt as a trap. Debt as a trap. And if you absolutely, absolutely, absolutely must use debt that you go into it with an absolute strategy to exit it from the from the very get-go so for example if you absolutely must put this amount on this card that you already have a plan that you're paying it off on the next world or whatever the case may be so don't just blindly go into debt if you must absolutely must do it then you're going to have a strategy if you need to talk to me about it talk to me about it that work the Facebook group guys I hope you've already started using it because it's going to be we're all we're all on the same page we're all we may be at different places in that in the in the challenge but or you know in our circumstances but we all know what it feels like 
to be in debt and want to be out of debt and move towards debt free wealth. So that's what the group, the group is supposed to be safe. Um, you don't have to use, you know, um, I, I certainly don't want you talking about specifics of your financial situation within the group. Please don't share things that I don't, not even with me. I, I, I can't see any reason why I will need your social security number or anything like that. Maybe some of the products and services you interact with, they may require it. You know, like the Equifax debt wise may require it, but it's not me. I'm not getting that information. If you speak to a lawyer, you know, they're, you know they may have me do an intake form. I'm not sure, but I, if, if I don't have to, I won't. I'm not looking for any opportunity to get your private information, and I don't want you sharing that with others in the group. But, um, you know, look for ways, guys. Offer stuff up for sale. See if you can buy stuff on cons in a consignment store. We really have to start looking at ways not to go back into debt. So from here on, promise me, promise me that you will see debt as a trap, as a snare. And there is no more, never will it say, leave your lips, good debt. You can say necessary debt, but not good debt. There's no such thing as good debt, okay? So this is week two. Uh, for those of you who have gotten to this point, hurrah, happy for you, proud of you for being, you know, sticking with it so far. It's it's a tough road, I know, a very, very tough road, but hang in there, hang in there. Make sure, and if you have not yet had your initial 30-minute consultation with me, that you make sure you get that scheduled. Please be sure to have completed your survey before you do, and, um, I will see you in the group. Maybe we'll chat by phone soon if we haven't already. And absolutely look forward to chatting with you by video again next week. Thank you.